Hello there, welcome back to my bench once again. Hope everyone had a happy holiday season. And uh, I'm going to tell you about a fly that I don't know, it may not be real familiar to you. It's new to me too, but I'm going to tie some up and give them a try. I've never tried one before, I'm going to try one this upcoming season. But I figured I'd show you guys the tie as well. It's new to me, so I figured I'd share it with you. It's called the mop fly. Very easy fly to tie. And it uses materials that you get a, like a car chamois, a mop type. Uh, they, that's why they call it the mop fly. And you just get, you buy one, you can get these in the hardware store, dollar store. And these <coughs> little, they're like a chamois, but they fit on your hand. And they have all these little mop type strings on them. And that's what you cut off for the body. And that's sent thus the name mop fly. That's where it came from. So, I figured I'd tie one up for you. So, we'll get this guy the vise and I'll get a hook in and we'll get started here. For the hook, I'm using a Mustad. It's a Mustad C67S. It's a cat, actually a caddis pupa hook, but it's a good hook for this fly. So, and I also have a small black bead on this hook. So, we'll get him in the vise. Get it locked in here. And our thread is just Danville 6 Sot Flymaster. So we're going to start our thread right behind the bead here. And I'm just going to make a few wraps just to get it started here. Lock that thread down. Wrap back a ways here. And we're going to snip off the excess here. Okay. Now I'm going to take a little bit of super glue and put on those thread wraps. Just like so, put a little drop there. Now we're going to take our mop section here. And we're going to bring that in, tie that in. We want to strip off so you get the, th the thread core. It has thread cores on it, almost like Chenille does. Pretty much the same thing here. And that's where you want to tie in by those thread cores. Just so come in, wrap that down. Snug it down, wrap back on it. You want to make sure you wrap back enough to secure all those materials in. That's what you want to do. That's the most important thing. You want that bound down good. So then we'll come in and tie that down. I'm going to snip off those excess threads there. Tie those down good. There we go. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make a dubbing loop. So I'm going to put a little bit of ice dub on the front of it. Wrap right back on your loop, around a couple turns. Find that down good here. Wrap right back, and then we're going to wrap forward to behind the bead. And we're going to take a little bit of ice dub here, form a make a dubbing loop between our loop. Put our ice dub here. I'm going to grab my dubbing spinner, hook that on the loop, just like so here. Get that incorporated in between the loop. Okay, that should be fine. Then we're gonna spin that guy up. It's like so here, a little more. Keep spinning him up. Till you get tight noodle there. A little more. Almost got it to where I want it. There we go. That should be fine. Uh, a little bit more actually. There we go. Now we're going to wrap this guy on here, this go back towards the body of the fly, just like so, and then we're going to wrap forward towards the bead here, just like so, and I'll get one more wrap in here, then we're going to tie this guy off right there. So a couple wraps behind, a couple wraps in front. Gonna lock that loop in there. Come in, snip it off. Okay, I make a few wraps there behind the bead. Come in with our whip finisher here. A four to five turn whip finish. One, two, three, four, five. Finish that off, snug it down, come in and snip off our excess. And that's all there is to the mop fly. But I will take my little dubbing brush. I like to just go around and comb that dubbing out a little bit on the sides here. 
just like so there we go I'm just gonna pull out any of the real long fibers and there is another mop fly and you can tie these in an array of different colors you can get the mop material in, in all different colors but all I was able to find was gray for now but I've seen them tied in chartreuse, yellow, bright green, black but I think it's going to catch fish so it's a new tie I figured I'd share it with you so I hope you enjoyed it very simple to tie so if you can come up with these ingredients I'd recommend giving it a tie because all the reviewers I heard on it it's, it really does catch fish very well so I'm anxious to try it this season coming so anyway I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you did hit that subscribe button if you want to see more and uh, throw in a like as well if, if you if you wish so this is Hugh signing out once again from my fly shop I want to thank you very much for watching and so long for now folks